I love my lap. Pixel Kid. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the latest episode of Anna's Apps. If you haven't seen an Anna's Apps before, this is a show that we do here at Pixelkin that focuses on great apps for preschoolers that have been kid tested by my three-year-old daughter. If you'd like to see more Anna's Apps, be sure to subscribe to Pixelkin's YouTube channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at Monkey Math School Sunshine by Thup Games. So most of the apps that we've taken a look at in Anna's app so far have been focused on letters and letter recognition, alphabet, learning how to read. So this app that we're going to look at today uh, focuses on math, which is something we haven't looked at before. Bugs and Buttons and Bugs and Buttons 2 have some little math games, um, but this one is all about math. So let's take a look at Monkey Math School Sunshine. So, like in some other apps, you can see that you can create accounts. Um, so you've got three accounts if you have three kids. Um, Anna has already had, we made up account for her. I'm not sure what this is. It might have been her tapping on the pad. So these are a variety of math activities. This first one wants us popping bubbles, bubbles with six creatures in them. So this really requires being able to know what six uh, objects look like. So now we're moving into a new activity. The cool thing about this game too is that the activities are always switched yeah. up. And it just always changes things up, which makes it interesting. Triangle. So we're back to popping bubbles. And this one, knowing which number is biggest. And then it actually has some writing stuff as, uh, you know, teaching kids how to write um, the number, which is cool as well. Yeah, so this one is actually, you know, it can be challenging for kids when you've got this many things to fill in. So your prizes that you get are little things to put in your aquarium. I'm just going to show us our aquarium right now. Anna's aquarium is um, pretty full, as you can see. Um, it gives you prizes, I think, every three or four activities. So all types of fish, mermaids, sea castles, treasure chests, all kinds of things. Um, so Anna's aquarium is full. So she can't fit anything else in there. But we could take everything out and uh, rearrange it if we wanted to. But I'm going to leave it for her to rearrange later. So one thing I like about this with the addition and the subtraction is that it gives you the number of items underneath the, the number so you can start to recognize what that looks like. And if you don't just know three plus three equals six, you could count the balls and then learn that there are six. So that's another way of learning addition for little kids. So here we've got pattern recognition. So here's counting, number recognition, knowing which way to go. This is still a pretty easy one. They do get really complicated the more that you do them right. All right, so this will be the last activity that we look at. So that's Monkey Math School Sunshine. Honestly, I'm not crazy about the VO in this game. I think that the way the monkey talking is a little uh, 
irritating, but Anna really loves this game and it's really almost purely educational. Um, but I don't know what it is that she loves about it, but she loves it. She comes back to it again and again. So it must have something that I, as an adult, don't quite understand. Um, but I'm glad she likes it and she's learning some math in the, in the meantime. So that's it for this episode. If you'd like to see more episodes, be sure to subscribe to Pixelkin's YouTube channel. And you can come to pixelkin.org and find written uh, versions of our episodes as well, as well as lots of other content um, for families who have gamers in them. Thank you so much for watching and we'll be back with you with another episode soon.